Speaking of upgrading your TV's audio with the soundbar, well, there's simply no beating the experience of a true Dolby Atmos system, but it may be trickier to find the right one. Thankfully, we rounded up five of the best options to help you find the perfect fit for your needs and budget. For more information and updated prices, check the links in the description box below. Without further ado, let's begin. Number 5. Blue Sound Pulse Soundbar Plus First things first, at 14 centimeters high, the Blue Sound Pulse Soundbar Plus is a fair bit taller than your average soundbar, and when placed on the same surface as a TV, it will almost certainly block part of the screen. Although it comes with detachable kickstand legs, Blue Sound really intends for the Soundbar Plus to be wall mounted as it comes with a bracket included in the box for this purpose and to keep the installation tidy. The soundbar can be orientated in the cable cover at either the bottom or the top with an internal accelerometer automatically sensing which way up the bar is. But with the added height, the Pulse Soundbar Plus can accommodate forward-facing drivers larger in diameter than those in most competing models. So despite only offering virtual Dolby Atmos, the resulting performance is impressively detailed, solid, and satisfying. Additionally, the Pulse Soundbar Plus includes inputs for HDMI eARC, optical, 3.5mm, analog, and USB-A, as well as an Ether port and RCA output for external sub. There's support for high-res audio file formats and streaming onboard curves courtesy of Apple AirPlay, two-way Aptax HD Bluetooth for headphone listening, and the Blue OS wireless system that integrates with services including Tidal and Spotify. If you want a more enveloping surround setup, it can also connect wirelessly via a dedicated Wi-Fi module to a pair of Pulse Flex 2i speakers for surround sound and or Pulse Sub Plus for extra bass, available for purchase separately. Available in black or white, though the later is more expensive, the Bluetooth Pulse Soundbar Plus is a design-friendly choice with excellent multi-room integration with a Blue Sound ecosystem. Next up is Sennheiser's Ambio Soundbar. This soundbar is hugely impressive in both senses of the word. It's a beast, standing almost 1.3 meters wide. That's noticeably larger than the competition. It's also a lot heavier, which is good until if you're thinking of lugging it back from the shops on the bus. But all the extra space has been put to excellent use. While most soundbars rely on an external subwoofer, the Ambio simply crams in larger, more powerful drivers, and it works a treat. You can expect spine-tingling 3D audio that sounds totally effortless sparkling dialogue, and plenty of bottom-end grunt. Connectivity is just as impressive, with Bluetooth 4.2 and Chromecast for streaming. Admittedly, its size makes it a little tricky to position, and it doesn't come with a wall mount, so you might need a separate trip to your local hardware store. But once you're squared away, the results are breathtaking. Frustratingly for non-wall mounters, the Ambio's connection ports aren't housed in a recess at the rear but instead are hidden underneath. This means whenever you want to access them or the push buttons for Wi-Fi setup and factory reset, you need to allow space to delicately roll over the whole unit while connected in situ. Fortunately, the Ambio's array of inputs is so generous that you're unlikely to need to access it frequently. It sports three HDMI 2.0 inputs and one HDMI 2.1 port marked TV, which sports ER, meaning it can handle Dolby Atmos in its lossless true HDM format. While these ports aren't capable of delivering next-gen gaming features such as VRR and ALLM, they can pass through signals from external sources in 4K HDR, including Dolby Vision. Alongside the HDMIs are the Ethernet socket. Wi-Fi is also supported, USB for updates only, optical input, and a stereo RCA aux in. There's a subwoofer pre-out too, should you feel the need to add a dedicated base unit. Delivering Dolby Atmos from a small chassis is no mean feat, but the Sonus Beam Gen 2 achieves a convincing, immersive performance without so much as a vertical speaker in sight. Instead, when watching Atmos content, two of the soundbar's five front-facing arrays are dedicated to reproducing overhead and surround sounds. With its hefty processing power, the Sonos Beam Gen 2 uses psychoacoustic head-related transfer function technology to give the impression of height without needing to get vertical. While genuine overhead sounds are perhaps a stretch too far for this petite performer, its virtual delivery of the Atmos format outstrips any similarly priced soundbar and even a few that are more expensive. The Beam Gen 2 offers an enveloping spatial soundscape with rich detailed audio as well as tangible motion and depth. Not that many soundbars at this price point come with networking capabilities, but this being a Sonos product, the Beam Gen 2's ability to integrate into a wireless multi-room system is fundamental to its design. This means you can stream to the Beam Gen 2 from a handheld device using Apple AirPlay 2, and Spotify Connect is built in too. 
There will also be a forthcoming upgrade to add support for Amazon Music Ultra HD Audio, which will give access to lossless 24-bit, 48K Hertz tracks as well as Dolby Atmos Music. All in all, despite the lack of upward drivers, if space and budget are limited, there isn't a better Dolby Atmos soundbar that we'd recommend. Next up is the LG S95 QR. This soundbar is LG's flagship Dolby Atmos soundbar for 2022, boasting a massive 17 drivers in a 9.1.5 configuration. It's a multi-speaker package comprising a primary soundbar, wireless subwoofer, and two wireless rear speakers. It ups the ante on the brand's previous model with the addition of side-firing drivers on the rears and an upward-firing center channel that LG claims is a world first. The main soundbar contains 10 drivers with left and right channels handled by two 20mm silk dome tweeters and two 52 by 99mm woofers. A pair of 50mm drivers on either end of the soundbar deliver surround side effects, while two 63mm units on the top surface supply height effects for immersive sound formats. A 63mm driver faces forward in the center, coupled with a 20mm silk dome tweeter on the top surface. Unlike the system's other height drivers, this tweeter does not produce Atmos effects. Instead, it supplements the traditional front-facing driver for better dispersion and increased dialog clarity. In a change from previous models, the wireless sub has an upgraded cabinet and a larger 20cm driver, while the rear speakers have a new Apex design to distribute sound from its front, side, and overhead driver more evenly across a claimed 135 degree space for more forgiving placement. LG is as ever generous with the connectivity options on its flagship soundbars. The S95 QR offers Bluetooth, Spotify Connect, AirPlay 2, and Chromecast on board. You can control your streaming service, adjust the volume, and change sound modes with your voice thanks to Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa support. There are eARC, optical and USB inputs for hardwired connections and two additional HDMI pass-through ports that support gaming features such as VRR and ALLM. However, 4K HDR signals are only handled at up to 60 Hz. The S95 QR not only handles Dolby Atmos and DTSX immersive sound formats, but it's LG's first soundbar to include IMAX enhanced support, which uses a modified version of DTSX. If you hate unsightly cables running between your TV and soundbar, you can pair it with the new LG Wowcast Audio dongle, sold separately, to enjoy lossless multi-channel audio wirelessly. Sonically, the LG S95 QR isn't musical or strong at delivering overhead effects, but for a home theater, it has a broadly balanced, spacious soundstage that is detailed, cinematic, and engaging. Before meeting our top pick, let us know your thoughts. Do you agree with this list? If not, tell us which Dolby Atmos soundbar is missing down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to our weekly videos. Finally, we present to you the Sony HD A7000. It's no secret Sony has excellent form with soundbars, and the HD A7000 is no different. A 7.1.2 slab of sound, this Dolby Atmos soundbar packs in two upfiring speakers, two beam tweeters, five front-facing drivers, and a built-in dual subwoofer into a single chassis. Using a combination of driver placement and psychoacoustic techniques, the Sony HD A7000 delivers a broad and high sound stage, whether you're watching immersive content or not, while retaining musicality, presence, and detail. In terms of height and precision, the performance is similar to that of a Sonos R, but the width of the sound stage and its forward projection is more convincing. It's not the same as having direct audio from the speaker above or the side, but it's effective and dramatically enticing, enriching the viewing experience. The Intergrade sub is also particularly impressive with a taut, controlled, and powerful performance. The A7000 excels itself from its extensive audio format support, which includes Dolby Atmos, in both the Digital Plus and True HD formats, DTSX, LPCM, Hi-Res Wireless Audio, and Sony 360 Reality Audio. The A7000 is as packed with streaming smarts as it is stuffed with speakers with Spotify Connect, Apple AirPlay 2, Google Chromecast all on board and integration into a multi-room system with Amazon Alexa, Apple HomeKit, and Google Home all supported. Alongside two HDMI 2.1 pass-through sockets capable of handling 8K at 60Hz, 4K at 120Hz, and Dolby Vision HDR, there are ports for eARC analog and optical audio inputs and USB Type A. 
There's also an analog output for Sony's acoustic center sync, which lets a compatible Bravia TV become part of the soundbar's center channel when the two are connected using the supplied cable. Overall, the Sony HD A7000 is an outstanding, future-proofed, all-in-one performer with excellent integration if you have a newer Sony Bravia TV. For more information and updated prices, check the links in the description box below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to check out our previous comparison between the Bose Smart Soundbar 900 versus the Sonos Arc and the top 5 best soundbars of 2022.